pound for pound sports entertainment hit the subscribe button right now if you're not gonna do nothing else i know one thing i need you to do hit that subscribe button the number two thing i need you to do hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen for your boy it's your host Seth Merritt. We're gonna get right to it like we always do. You see it. You seen the thumbnail. You read the title. You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. Keith Thurman, Keith One Time Thurman, taking on Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Baby, let me run that back. <laughs> Earl the Truth Spence Jr. takes on Keith One Time Thurman. That's right. There's a catch though, ladies and gentlemen. Keith Thurman has no belts. Earl Spence has three belts. The IBF the WBC and the WBA. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, none of those belts will be on the line. They are not fighting at 147 pounds. That's right, you heard me correctly. Oh wait, I didn't say it yet. I'm about to say it right now. They are fighting at 154, no belts on the line. So you know what? What does this mean? I don't know what it means. Does it mean that, that, that Earl Spence is leaving the welterweight division? Is he going to, uh, hypothetically, if he does defeat Mr. Keith one time Thurman, is he going back to 147 for a long-awaited showdown for Undisputed against Terrence Crawford? Is, is Earl Spence going to drop the belts? We have uh, Stan Yonis taking on Virgil Ortiz for the WBA. Uh, 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 Jerome Boots Ennis is the IBF mandatory. He just became the IBF mandatory. He wants his shot. That needs to be called. It's a lot of things going on. A lot of people waiting around for Mr. Earl Spence because he has three of the belts. Keith Thurman? Hmm. I don't know. You finally get the fight that you want. You've already had your tune up against Mario Barrios. You look phenomenal. It's go time. It's no more none of that. It's, it's time to go. This is a big money fight for both guys. Um, it's rumors of the fight going to be taking place in New York. Rumors that the fight is going to be taking place in Vegas. Rumors that the fight is going to be taking place in Dallas. I don't know. I don't care where it is. I'm pulling up, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fight that a lot of uh, uh, fight fans have been wanting for years. Now, is it the big fight, the, 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 the Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence? No. But will it be? I think so. I think so. Because we already know Keith Thurman is going to run his mouth, talk this fight up, and guess what? It's going to be fireworks at that press conference because it's going to be questions asked of why didn't this fight happen years ago? Oh, I got hurt or I was ducking or he was ducking me or he never had a contract. It's going to go down, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait for the press conference. I'm looking forward to it. The buildup for this fight is going to be great. Now, like I said before, according to Mr. Earl Spence, from, from the cryptic message that he put on his Instagram, he says April. A lot of other sources are saying April. So guess what? It's going down to April, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking forward to this fight. Will Earl Spence leave the welterweight division? Is he coming back? Will Earl Spence leave out of the ring with a W or an L against Mr. Keith Thurman? Will Keith Thurman be the first one to defeat Earl Spence? It is what it is. Hit that like button, comment below, share, do all of that. Hit the subscribe button, share, do all of that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say it again. Hit the like button. That's right, that little thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and hit it for your boy. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button for all things sports entertainment related. It's your host, F. Merritt, Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. I'm out.